Ashley, does Justin blame you? Maybe. I don't know. Have you asked him? What did he say? Says Ashley, leave me alone. That's all he said to me since yesterday afternoon. I'm sorry he's taking his disappointment out on you. He's not disappointed, Mrs. Wheeler. He's devastated. Well, give him time. He'll get over it. Maybe. Maybe when he finds out he still has a job. It's a miracle he hasn't been arrested. Ryan was so angry. Justin didn't do anything illegal. Justin honestly thought that Ryan was covering up for that Parnell man. Grant believes that Justin framed Ryan deliberately. Yeah. What do you believe? Do you believe that Justin framed Ryan? I sincerely hope not. Hello, I'm going. Hello, Lena. I knew it was a mistake coming here. All right, I'm leaving. I hear Justin has been fired. Well, easy come, easy go. I don't know what to say to you. You warned me, and I wouldn't listen. I said if I were wrong about Ryan, I would apologize. But you said it would be too late. Is it too late? So, have you signed the lease on the store? Yep. Signed it yesterday. Oh. Nita told, has told me all about the boutique you're planning to open, Mrs. Carrington. It sounds so exciting. <laughs> well, it, it will be as soon as all the work's done, but right now I'm a little more scared than I am excited, I think. <laughs> well, when are you planning on opening? Well, I'm shooting for three weeks from yesterday. Three weeks? That's right. That's <gasps> why I need you as soon as possible, Nita. Have you to talked to Maggie yet? Oh, yeah. No problem. Maggie's as excited about it as I am. <laughs> Well, then you want to do it, right? Oh, sure I do. There's just this one problem. What? What problem? Billy Joe Jr. Oh, that's not a problem, Nita. You'll be in the office every day. All you do is bring him with you, okay? When she can oh. have him. Maggie and I have prior claim. <laughs> <laughs> Maggie said she'll sit for Billy Joe Jr. anytime I need her. Great. Then it's settled, right? Yeah, I guess so. Well, when should I start working? Well, as a matter of fact, right now, I can't decide on these two swatches for the wall. Is fabric. it all right if I look too? Oh, sure, of course. Now, you have to imagine these fabrics on the wall, all right? Now, this is going to be on the east and the west wall. There's a lot of light coming in from here and lots of plants. So think about it very light and airy. Hey, Lou, where does this order go? Well, I don't know. Frankie was working on it. A film transfer to cassettes? Yeah. Mm. Carrington. Must be for Elliot. I'm going that way. I'll take it to him. Mm. Uh, where is my maid of honor, she read? <laughs> She's gone down the street to talk to Iris. Maybe you can get Ryan to talk to Iris, too. You, uh... Haven't talked to her yet? No, no, I, I have nothing to say to Iris. But she's got a lot to say to you. Well, I just don't want to hear what she has to say. Well, Ryan, you certainly have a right to be angry. But it uh, might be better just to let her apologize and then forget about it. Ryan, maybe you should talk to her. I'll tell you who I would like to talk to, and that's Dennis. I just can't understand that sudden turnaround of his. No, I can't either. Well, maybe Rena can find something out from Iris. I swore I'd never speak to you again. I can't blame you. I did a terrible thing. I'm absolutely mortified by my behavior. Why? Because you were publicly embarrassed? No. Because I allowed my anger to poison my mind against an innocent man. A man I almost destroyed in the process. And I lost a friendship which has always meant a great deal to me. I was so consumed with anger at Alex's death that I... I couldn't offer you any comfort when Max died. I'm truly sorry for that, Rena. Iris... You tried to help your friend Ryan, and you tried to help me, and I turned you away. 
I don't deserve your forgiveness, but... but I must ask for it. Your friendship is very important to me. And what about your friendship to Justin? Oh, I don't know. Perhaps he did frame Ryan. He did, Iris. Unfortunately, I... I was so determined to find fault with Ryan that I would have believed Justin no matter what he said. It's all my fault. Not entirely. Ashley was singing the praises of Justin. Poor Ashley. Poor Ashley? She's caught in the middle. She loves Justin. She wants him to be happy, to succeed. I'm sure she does. She always had serious reservations about Ryan's guilt. She was very much opposed to his being ousted as president. I'm sorry, Iris. I find that very difficult to believe. It's true. She ended up supporting Justin, though, didn't she? Like I said, she loves him. If she can't help him now, Justin will dump her, you know. No. He believes she's going to have his child. Isn't she? She's trying, but... Rena, do you think Ryan can recover from this? Yes, I think so, in time. I've lost Alex and Ryan, and now you. Oh, Rena, what have I done? Hi, Angela. Nita. Where's Aunt Maggie? She's upstairs with the baby. Did you just come from the hospital? Yes. How's Joe Foster doing? Well, the doctors say he's going to be all right. They've got the infection under control. Infection? From the bullet. He's lucky it didn't do more damage. You hate me, don't you, Nina? No, I don't hate you. I really wish you knew, Joe. I wish that you would just... Look, get... Elena, I really would rather not discuss this, if you don't mind. He didn't mean to hurt you, Nina. Elena, whether he meant to or not, he almost made me lose my baby. He let me call an ambulance. That's just because you made him. But he didn't have to. He knew it meant that the police... Elena, would... look, I know you love Joe Foster. And that's going to influence everything you say. But Joe Foster is no good, Elena. And no matter what you say, you're not going to change that. 